Let's bring in our panel to talk about this. Left-wing media mayhem joining us now, Washington editor for The Spectator, Amber Duke, and president of the American Principles Project, Terry Schilling. Welcome to you both, guys. Amber, you first. During an appearance on Tucker Carlson's program, RFK Jr. said that if he were asked, he would serve as Trump's CIA director, but would never get the Senate confirmation because he's considered, quote, dangerous to them. I can't shake the sense that there's there's another race that we can't see, a race to erase our rights so that the corrupt actions undertaken by these three-letter agencies and others against our people never see justice. How do you see it? I completely agree, and I think that's why RFK teaming up with Trump is so important. For one, he is going to make sure that nothing like COVID-19 lockdowns happen ever again. And more importantly, he is committed to rooting out the medical establishment that has made so many of us sick, whether it's because pharmaceutical companies fund the majority of the FDA or because there's a revolving door between people who work at pharmaceutical companies and their associated lobbying arms and the FDA. I think this is great news. You've seen a swell of people, especially in the conservative movement over the past five years, who are really talking about our public health system and how it's failed us so miserably. I think this is a huge positive for the movement. During an interview on Bill Maher's podcast, left-wing Hollywood director Quentin Tarantino went on a profanity-laced rant, urging Kamala Harris to avoid interviews of the press so she wouldn't blow it. Watch. It's a mad f dash, and she is running, and she's not stopping to f no. stumble. And you know what? And there's nothing wrong with I stopping this. I'm going to vote for her in any way, no matter what she says in a stupid f***ing interview. Exactly. So don't f*** it up. Yeah, so see, Terry, the left knows she's unqualified. They just they just want to hide it so, so she can get in the White House and then finish us off. I wasn't sure if I was watching an actor and a director there or the news director at MSNBS. What's your take? Well, thank you, Chris. And it's obvious that so many of our elites in America, our cultural and social elites, hate us, right? They absolutely hate us. They don't even think that someone that's going to going for the most powerful office, not just in America, but in the entire world, owes us an explanation for what they will do once in power. What is he so afraid of? What are Democrats so afraid of? What's Kamala so afraid of that they are that they won't tell the American people? Her agenda must be so unpopular and so destructive. That's why they're not giving the, or, or I'll, I'll suggest she might be just that vapid of a candidate that everyone will find out that she's absolutely an airhead. Well, guys, give me about 20-second response each. Amber, you first. Does this debate happen or not? I hope so, because, one, she deserves to explain to the American people, as Terry said. And, two, with all of the flip-flopping she's done, it just came out this week, I was the first to report that she's now apparently flip-flopping on electric vehicle mandates. How could Trump not win that debate? <laughs> <laughs> Terry, what I think about she's you? definitely going to debate. I think she's definitely got to debate. You got to do at least one. If you, if she does it, there will be consequences. I'm still optimistic in the American people. We aren't dead yet. We're still going to know that these people are either love us enough to tell us where they stand, or they hate us that much to hide. Yeah, Amber Duke, Terry Schilling. Thank you very much. Be right back.